What is it that you're looking for in a base? Do you want to build some monstrosity that you have to farm all wipe just to get lost in? Or do you want something to protect your loot and keep you back in the action? Today's base is designed with you in mind. Giving you more time to enjoy your wipe, this base is not only cheap to build, but it relies on an incredibly low upkeep, all while making it almost impossible for a raider to get your loot without breaking the bank. And that all works because this base uses one of the best mechanics to protect your loot from any raiders. Before we jump into the build, this video is sponsored by Babbel. Learning a new language can seem like an impossible task, but not anymore thanks to Babbel. Babbel provides you with tons of different tools for you to learn from, with everything from live classes to even games and podcasts. So no matter how you learn, you'll learn with Babbel. Whether it's just to be able to ask to be picked up in other languages, or watching your favorite anime without those horrible dubs, Babbel is the easiest way to broaden your horizons. Are you worried it's not for you? Between live classes taught by real teachers, games, podcasts, and more, Babbel promises to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. And if you're not seeing the progress that you expect, Babbel offers a 20-day money-back guarantee so that you can start practicing risk-free. To get Babbel and start learning a new language today, simply click that link in the description, which will not only save you 60%, but it'll also go a long way to help supporting this channel. All right, jumping into the build, it is actually incredibly easy to do. Now, I do personally recommend finding a dip in the terrain as it's gonna be a lot easier to hide this base. But other than that, starting off as low to the ground as possible is gonna be what helps make this work. So we're gonna start with one triangle and then we're gonna place two more to the side. Now, if the height changes, that doesn't matter too much. What matters here is that you can place these two squares and they have to be low to the ground. So we're going to start with this square here and you're going to want to make sure we clip it right there. And so what I'm doing is I am just going to slowly move from the right to the left. And that's going to make sure that I can clip to the sides there. Now, as you can see, this is a very easy footprint to replicate. And at this point, we can actually just go ahead and run around with walls like this. And we can actually go and place our door closing this in. Once you've got this all slapped down and we've literally got our two by one shell already built, go ahead and place your door on and upgrade everything. Now this will work if you don't use the skin pack, so don't worry if you don't have the skin pack, it works just exactly the same. So next we're gonna place a floor piece right here. And we're gonna clip that onto the back wall. You wanna make sure you're looking at that back wall when you place it. And then we can go ahead and upgrade that. Now from here is where we're gonna place our TC in the back corner here. We're gonna go ahead and grab our TC and place it like so. Make sure to lock that up. Next, we're gonna grab our large boxes. And we're gonna start with a large box right here. Rotate, and then we should be able to place another one right here. Perfect. Then you can also put a small box right here, but that is not nearly as important. But right now, let's come back outside and we can destroy this. We're not going to need that anymore. And just temporarily, we're going to build up right there. We can actually remove these right now and come back inside. That's going to allow us to build a shelf up here. Now for this shelf, it is a lot easier if you make the jump. And then we're going to place this box first. So you're going to rotate it. You're going to go kind of to the middle. And if you have a crosshair, this gets a lot easier. And then we're going to maybe take a little step to the right because you need to give room for that TC. And then we can place our second box right here, which you get a little bit more room for. And then you could also place a small box right here. I don't usually place the small boxes. It's just a little bit of extra loot, but I don't think it's necessary. It gets in the way a little bit. And I don't like the aesthetic of it. Next, we place this low wall, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and place our furnace room. So we're going to do three furnaces right here. Now, these actually work in two ways. One is that, you know, it obviously gives us a nice path to walk over, and our furnace is all in one tight spot. But it also works in that we get that comfort effect when a furnace is active. Now, as a solo player, when a furnace or a campfire is active, you're gonna get 50 comfort, 50%. You're gonna see that in the bottom right corner. Now, if there was another player nearby, that would actually change. As you can see with my buddy here, 528012, 
With him standing here, I now get 75 comfort. This means that without even opening my door, I can be alerted to the fact that I'm being door camped. Now I am going to remove this shelf as I no longer need it. And we're going to come down into this section right here. We can go ahead and grab our large boxes. We're also going to grab a small box. And we're going to place a large box here, a large box here, and a small box in between. Now you want to make sure that all the boxes are lined up right here. And then we can go ahead and slap locks on them. It is very important you slap those locks on. Then from here, we're going to grab our last floor piece. And while looking at this wall across from us, we're going to very carefully and slowly come down. And then we're going to place that. Now, it can be a little difficult to check, so we're going to have to have some faith, and we're going to upgrade. And when you've upgraded that, we're going to walk along with a crosshair, and you should see that we have access to these boxes down below. Now, it can be a little difficult to find these and to get these accessed, so I do recommend acquiring a weapon by grabbing yourself even just a crossbow and having that crosshair enabled. It can make finding that center a lot easier. Accessing the boxes is pretty simple, but again, most raiders are not going to be looking down here at all. And once you have that lock on those, they can't actually access it from up here at all. Next, we can go ahead and grab our large double door and we can actually close everything off here. So we're going to create a airlock right here with our door opening outwards. And this is just going to make it so that nobody can dive in fully right here. And then right here, we are going to be just temporarily adding a double door, which is going to airlock like so. Now, the problem with this is when the double door is active, when the double door is here, you actually can't get to your loot room. This means to get down below, you're going to have to pick up that door and then you're going to be able to access that again. Now, counter to that, once you get yourself garage doors, you'll actually be able to still loot that without having to actually remove the door. Now, of course, you don't need to have the garage doors. This does work perfectly fine with a double door. But like I said, you are going to have to pick up that door every time you want to move it. When I build this myself, I do actually use the double armored door. And I'll put an armored door on this inside door. As it just makes the raid cost a lot higher. Now, upgrading the base, getting this rest of this filled out. I do want to point out that if you do place your boxes here to fill out that extra space, you're gonna have a lot harder of a time accessing the crack. And so for that reason, I do highly recommend we leave it open. That said, you could always put at least this one box here, or what I prefer to do is do either a furnace or a box over on this side, because that's not really a side that I'm gonna walk onto, and I can still access the box right here. So with either a furnace or a box there, we can actually put the door back on Recently, the devs made it so that we can do that, which is fantastic. Then we're going to place our workbench, our, either a tier one, two, or three, goes right here the entire wipe. Place your small box under that, and a locker right here. All that's really left is to slap yourself a couple bags down right here, and you're good to go. You can start living your best wipe. Of course, this base is going to rely on you keeping things low key. So I do not recommend adding honeycomb and I do not recommend upgrading beyond sheet metal. Drawing too much attention to this base will completely defeat the purpose of actually building it. And that's it. Your stuff is now secure inside of a two by one. If you guys like this video, if you guys like this base design, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. As well, a massive thank you to Babbel for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys want to take advantage of some massive savings, all while supporting the channel, make sure to check out Babbel using that link in the description right now. Until next time, have a good wipe and peace out.